Hello everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for a quick tutorial on how to get HD Minecraft. Similar to this, the video is a little laggy because my computer doesn't like to play, play full HD video. Well, it's not really my computer, it's more quick time. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how to get HD Minecraft. I am a Mac user, however, it is very, very similar. And if you just follow the little differences that the people put on their uh, mod posts in Minecraft forums, you'll be able to figure it out just easily. Um, I have up here the different mods I was using, <clears throat> uh, not very many. This is the most important one, and this is one I'd recommend even if you're not trying to do HD uh, Minecraft. This is Optifine, and basically what Optifine allows you to do is it makes your Minecraft run way better, it fixes FPS, it um, has it just run a lot smoother. So this is definitely something you want, especially when you start getting into more uh, complex mods that might kind of break the game so you know when you you know make a huge bomb and you blow it up um, this will you know it'll sometimes crash your client or it'll just freeze up this will help it run and actually let you see some of the things you do um, <clears throat> the easiest way to install this mod and I already downloaded it um, it's in my folder the easiest way to do this is by getting the same um, by getting the magic launcher which is made by the same guy SP uh, 614x. I already have that up here, but you can just click that link to get to that one. And I'll have all these in the description below. Um, why did I just close that? It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is Magic Launcher, and basically what it does is you launch it, and you select a zip file from wherever, and you just apply it to your Minecraft folder, um, or jar, I should say. <clears throat> the, the biggest the, the problem with this though is a lot of mods won't run on it and the only way this will work is if your Minecraft is still in the dot jar form. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll explain it later. Uh, the shaders I used um, to get that really pretty sexy look is Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders, um, which is a combination of GL, SL shaders, Dynamic Shadows, and a couple other things. And this thing is incredible. Um, it is really, really great. And unfortunately, it is kind of a haggle to run. Um, it, it takes a lot to run this. Um, so if it's if it doesn't work for you, you can probably just get GSL, um, GSL. I can't say it right. GLSL shaders because they're not as intense. Um, but unfortunately, they're not as good as the Sonic shaders. Um, it's got the word Sonic in it, how could it not be awesome? So yeah, uh, this is what basically makes Minecraft look so good, and then Optifine helps it run better. Um, it has downloads for Windows and Mac and Linux, so that's good. And then there's different configurations you can download. Um, just there, The one you download is the best one, and then there's a couple others uh, that help a little, that make it a little bit better, or have it work a little bit better, uh, so it's not completely wearing down your hardware. Um, but yeah, this is the instructions, super easy, so I'll get into that, but like I said, if you're using uh, Windows and not a Mac, like me, this is one that's really easy to run. Like all these mods are actually really easy to do, um, PC, Mac wise, it doesn't really involve too much of actually configuring your Minecraft.jar file. Uh, this is the John Smith Texture Pack. Uh, I love it, it's really great, unfortunately it is only 1.24. Um, I haven't noticed any difference though. Um, I, basically, I, you could use any HD texture pack. This is the one I liked the most, and I was kind of being stubborn about the fact that it wasn't brand new. Um, since this is an HD texture pack, you do need to get uh, the newest version of MC Patcher, um, MC Patcher HD, which is this right here. And this is basically just a program that automatically patches your dot jar. Um, it's really, really easy. Once again, one of those things that you can do on PC or Mac with no real problem whatsoever. Uh, Windows Media Fire to download and um, Mac and Linux downloads. Uh, but they, the, the programs themselves were pretty much the same, so I'm going to go ahead and show you those. Uh, this is the mods folder. This is where I put them all. Um, let's see. So yeah, uh, go ahead and unzip your folders. Wait, no, actually. You don't want to unzip, the only ones you want to unzip are Magic Launcher, and since I already have Magic Launcher, I, well, it doesn't matter. Um, that, and Optifine you want to keep like that, and Shader, okay, so everything can pretty much stay in zip form except Magic Launcher, and like I said, Magic Launcher will basically uh, bring up this nice little menu, 
you want to go to uh, setup and it'll look for a dot jar and here let me show you what I mean by that um, in, in Mac it's a little different for you those Mac users you get to your uh, library by going to go and hitting the alt option button clicking library I'm not really sure how you get to application support in um, PC but <clears throat> it's pretty similar um, so this is basically, this is Minecraft right here. This is the stuff that makes Minecraft work. So your saves, your texture packs, all that stuff. Um, but we want to go to his bin, and you're going to have all this stuff. And this is your Minecraft.jar file. This is actually the file that pretty much is the game. And what a lot of mods will make you do is make you turn it into a folder. Um, in Mac, you'll use the unarchiver. In PC, all you have to do is zip it and unzip it. Um, and then you'll get this, which lets you mess with everything. Um, we don't need to do that right now, because, uh, like I said, here, let me just let me just show it to you real quick. And anytime you get rid of your Minecraft.jar when you're modding, you should always drag it off to the side, because if you do something wrong, you can easily get it back. Um, so just turn this into Minecraft.jar, and the game will basically run that instead. But, unfortunately, um, this cannot find, um, let's see, select minecraft.jar, you can't select it. It has to be the .jar file. If it's not the .jar file, it won't work. For Magic Launcher, that is. Other mods will require it, so what you'll end up needing to do, um, what you'll end up needing to do is running, uh, Magic Launcher to do all this stuff, and then you'll want to, um, And then you'll want to, oh man, not, and then you want to add other mods later. Um, and then you could always, there is a way to make your .jar file into a normal .jar, like Java file again, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to where's my mods? Oh, go to desktop, my mods file, and we're gonna go to Optifine and it's running perfectly which is good because last time I did it it wasn't running perfectly okay so that's all we need to do for that um, that basically just makes the game run smoother you can go ahead and close out magic launcher it's just a really easy way to put magic launcher um, and other mods I think it I think model a lot of the mods run really really easily through that but there are some that don't necessarily work like you saw the explosions mod that I have on my file um, you can't really do that on there um, so now we're going to want to run a MC Patcher. Uh, sounds like a DJ. So run MC Patcher. And it'll automatically connect with your Minecraft.jar, hopefully. And you'll want to go to uh, the plus button. And like I said, the Windows version of this and the PC version of this are. Or, wow. The Windows version and the Mac version are pretty much the same this, on this program, so you should have no issues. Uh, mods. John Smith, that is the texture pack I am using, hit OK, hit OK, and patch. So this is basically patching all this stuff to your Minecraft. You can go ahead and go to test Minecraft, it'll open up a little test monitor preview, and as you can see, it's already looking pretty good. I just go into creative mode so you can immediately see. So yeah, there's an issue here, it didn't actually work. Um, texture pack is there, but the game is not in HD. So we're going to have to go back and go ahead and close out MC Patcher. And what did I forget? Oh, duh! I didn't put the shaders on yet. So yeah, to do shaders, uh, it's not difficult, but it's kind of weird. Um, you're going to want to oh, unzip it and go to installer.jar, right? So go to installer.jar, open. And once again, it'll just run a .jar, it'll attach to your .jar, <laughs> and you just go to install mods. And that's it. Um, so now, when we go back and open it, log in, should work, yep, Mojang, single player, creative mode, and everything is beautiful, and burning down, I don't remember doing that, I didn't do it.
Uh, so yeah, if there's a lot of different configurations you can do. Like if you don't like the motion blur, which actually I do like the motion blur, you can turn that off. Um, if you don't like uh, how much of a shade, you can adjust pretty much everything. You can have more shading, you can have less shading, you can turn off the motion blur completely, which turning off the motion blur will take care of a lot of lag. Um, it will make it so it runs way smoother. Um, and there's a lot of different HD texture packs. Um, and the texture packs don't really matter. Like the mod the shaders and the texture packs don't matter. You can do the shaders out of HD. You don't have to do an HD shaders. Um, it all works pretty much without each other. The only thing you definitely, definitely should use is Optifine. Even if you don't want HD or shaders or anything, I recommend patching uh, Optimot or Optifine so that you can get a much smoother running game. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much all. Uh, there were some, there's a couple other shaders mods. There's a water shaders mod, uh, but I have been unable to get uh, both normal shaders and water shaders to work at the same time because they have a lot of the same files. So it just doesn't really work right. And maybe that's just because I did something wrong. I've been able to get sh water shaders to work without um, the normal shaders. But I'm not really sure. That's something I need to look into. But yeah, so water, unfortunately, is one of those things that's just not going to look very impressive with this mod. Um, but I'm sure there's a way to do it. I'm just stupid. Um, if you know how to do it, go ahead and leave a comment below, and I'll do an update to this tutorial on how to do that. But yeah, see, uh, what I was talking about earlier with like Optifine, normally you can't really tell until you like blow TNT up. I mean, just watch the animation of the TNT. I mean, it's like it's. It's great. I mean, you know, the box expands. You see all the puffs of smoke. It looks really good. Um, that's easily one of the best times you can actually see Optifine at work is when you blow up stuff, which is kind of funny. But, yeah, it runs really smoothly. Whereas normal Minecraft, it would just start lagging a little bit. But, no, it ran pretty nicely. But, uh, yeah, that's all for this tutorial. If I messed anything up or forgot anything, be sh feel free to post the comments below, and I'll reply and say thank you. Um... I'll have all those mods in the link, uh, with links down in the description below. And yeah, if you have any other questions, uh, go ahead and just uh, ask. Or if you have any other tutorials you'd like to see me do, go ahead and ask. And I'm talking tutorials on anything from Minecraft and normal video games to just everyday stuff. I'm a Mac user, so anyone who has Mac questions, go ahead and let me know. Um, if you have Windows questions, I apologize that the process is a little bit different, but I guarantee it's not that hard and most of the mods do have instructions, um, but luckily most of the mods don't even require you to open up your .jar. If anything, all you have to do is just run stuff. Um, make sure you download Windows versions of stuff when needed or Mac stuff when needed. And for people who use Linux, which I don't really know anyone who uses Linux, um, you'll just use the other versions. So yeah, that's really all for this tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching uh, my last video and this video. Glad to see you guys actually had interest in modding. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Red Panda Gamer. Please like this video. If you're interested, comment, share, subscribe, my channel. Be happy to do whatever you gotta do. Share your love. I'm Red Panda Gamer. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.